complex and overwhelming place. When things don't work as they should, it often means that standards are absent. But when ISO standards are applied, life is just so much richer. ISO standards help to make the world a safer, cleaner and more efficient place. From food safety to computers, from healthcare to new technologies. There are many challenges facing our environment, economy and society. ISO can make a positive difference to all of our lives, utilizing a wealth of international experience and wisdom. In today's ever-changing world, ISO standards help create growth, open up global markets and make trade fair, including for developing countries. ISO standards can help tackle global challenges like climate change, road safety, energy and social responsibility. ISO standards touch almost everything we do, keeping us connected and entertained, making us more productive, more creative, sharing ideas, promoting innovation and keeping us safe and healthy. ISO is the world's largest developer of voluntary international standards. With over 18,000 standards for nearly every aspect of technology and business. For over 60 years, a network of standards bodies in 163 countries, working in partnership around the world and right here at home. ISO builds confidence for today, for tomorrow, and for the future. Okay, that's a little promo from ISO.org. Um, my name is Andrew Clark, and I work, I'm a marketing manager with Certification Europe. So in Ireland, we're an Irish-owned, accredited certification body. And what that means is essentially we have a team of auditors, we go out on site to our clients' um, uh, facilities, and we assess them against the, some of the ISO standards that we um, certify. So if there's non-compliances, they can, you know, maybe sort them out and we come back in a few months, and then eventually we award certification. Um, of the 18,000 ISO standards, including ISO on the camera, as I was researching this pro uh, presentation, I realized that on my camera, the ISO number is actually the same crowd of th that I actually work with. Um, so yeah, ISO numbers on cameras through to bicycle tires, there's thousands of them. Our company, we don't, uh, we don't look at um, product standards, but, but necessarily, but uh, management system standards. So I'll just talk to, a few about, or talk to you about a few of those. Um, ISO say that they're on a mission to, to be a leading partner in the quest for sustainability. It's a big task and they've broken it up into environmental, societal and economic. Okay, so standards are a strategic tool for innovation and business growth. Essentially, there's a, there's a case to be made not to reinvent the wheel. Uh, if somebody's figured out the, the leading way to do something, rather than have your own human resources in your own company, uh, spend a lot of time trying to figure out the best way of doing things. Maybe it's a good idea to first take the established expertise, build on it within your own organization, and then redirect that human resources to something more productive for your own company. So there are committees upon committees upon committees of people that review the standards, renew the standards, refresh the standards each year or each couple of years. So they're always, if you're compliant with an ISO management system standard, you know you're actually leading the way and matching, uh, or if not exceeding, best practice. So, um, let's see. So how can ISO standards help SMEs? I mean, it's very obvious that the huge multinationals can use these standards to keep control over a huge conglomerate. But even SMEs with one or two people or, or, or 50 people can really benefit from, from standards. So if, if you have a 14,001, a huge competitor like Diageo or whoever maybe also have it, it can help you compete with the bigger players, open up export markets, discover best practices, drive efficiency, um, add credibility and confidence within your customers, within the different stakeholders in your value chain. Um, obviously it opens up new business opportunities and sales potential. Um, many tenders these days for, for procurement, um, they, they actually require or mandate that different standards be in place. For example, ISO 50001, or more increasingly, the, the information and security standard, ISO 27001. Standards can give you a competitive edge, not only because you can put it on your marketing collateral, but actually because it, 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 increases the, or it, it boosts the performance of your management team. 
So make sure brand name internationally recognized because having an ISO logo on, on, on your brand, it, it sort of it gives it that bit of recognition across the world. And it helps your company grow. If a company has 10 or 15 people, it's very easy to keep control over things just the way you like it. But as soon as you grow to 70 people and 170 people, the management of the, those extra people, it, it sort of it gets out of the hand. So having a, a, a system, systematic approach um, where there's protocols and procedures and, and uh, everything's, the admin is done well, it, it really helps the companies to scale. Uh, it enables a common language to be used across the industry sector. So um, that also helps innovation. So business challenges. We can often hear about challenges like innovation, cost reduction, product safety, energy efficiency, access to global markets, environmental, quality, customer relationships, risk, and social responsibility. All of these challenges have been uh, targeted by ISO. And ISO, have, uh, as an organization, have come together, put together some solutions for those challenges. So with innovation, they say that because of the common language um, used in the industry, it, it actually cuts down the, to the, the time to market and ensures interoper, interoperability. Um, with cost reduction, um, there's a, obviously um, uh, product development and production costs can come down with, with a good management system. Um, product safety, and in terms of also health and safety, occupational health and safety. Um, energy efficiency is, I'll talk to you a little bit later about that. In, in fact, there's another short video that, to, to break the presentation up on energy efficiency. Um, access to global markets, so the, I won't go through all of these because some of them are quite obvious and I'll talk about them later. Um, but okay, so what's the main drivers? We've asked our clients, um, why did you actually go ahead and, and implement or even maintain a nice standard? Because the admin maybe can be a, a little more and, and keep you busier and, and you know, what, what's, the, what's the reasons for doing this? Well, it improves the posture of the organization. Um, it certainly uh, helps to, to eke out a competitive advantage if you have a standard, your competitor doesn't. Um, for management, top level management, to keep control over different issues that's close to their heart. If you have uh, environmental uh, awareness or a concern for the environment in your corporate social responsibility, uh, and maybe your shareholders or your, or your board, they want to know what are you doing about that. Well, an ISO standard is a tangible thing where you can say, we, we, we have achieved the certification, it's valid, it's up to date. And so it helps the board to understand what's going on at the, at the shop level. Um, also, um, the more and more so, supply chain partners are mandating uh, certain ISO standards 